are still left in the contest. Decent sized deficit, but not one that they can't manage. The offense staying out there. They look prepared to go here on fourth and ten. They'll indeed go for it with Roethlisberger. And this is going to be incomplete. Boy, a real head scratcher there. And the Rams get the football in outstanding field position. The Rams offense now, they get set and head back onto the field. And the ledger for them so far looks pretty good, doesn't it? It certainly does. Touchdown, touchdown, touchdown. <laughs> Not sure it can be much better than that. They've got to feel very good about the groove that they're in at this stage of the game. And the tip there altered the ball flight, and it falls incomplete. It'll be second down. Second down now after the incompletion. Gone. And he's going to go down. Back near midfield at the 49. Stefan to it. In there to drop him. And it'll be a loss of about eight. Third and long. It's gone. And that'll be incomplete with just six seconds left on the clock. Definitely worth taking another deep shot here. He's already found the end zone twice here in the first half. Yeah, go back to that same well. They've had trouble containing him, but able to contain him on that play. Goff and his guys not coming off the field. They're going for this. A final shot before break here. Goff. The ball popped in the air and intercepted. Picked off around the 41. And he's free going down the left side. It's a foot race. And he brings this one back. It's a pick six for a Steeler touchdown. So they go on fourth down. Not only do they not get it, it turns into six points the other way. Disastrous. And many people think you should just go ahead and knock it down in that situation. Turn it over for the offense. But I had a defensive coordinator recently tell me, we see that as a passive play. We don't do that anymore. We want the ball in our hands, and we want to hit the other way. It's probably also instinct a lot of times. If you see a lot of green grass ahead of you, go ahead and grab it. It's the exact right play to do. That's knowing when to break the rules and when to make a play that maybe you hadn't been taught. So both teams have their marching orders, and we'll get going again here in quarter number three. This will be taken in at the one. Now a hit and a loose football. And they are going to take over right there at the 22-yard line. As that ball got away from him, and he saw the opposing team recover it. You felt his pain? Oh, I felt his pain, and you know what was going through his head. Tuck it away. Mm -hmm. Take care of the ball. All the things he hears all week in practice. He didn't carry it over into the game. And they'll start this drive with very good field position. The third quarter starts with a run by Gurley. And he's going to lose yards. They take him down at the 26. That's going to go as a loss of four, and it'll be second down. They'll stick to the ground game with Gurley. And this one also slow and developing as he's maybe getting back here to the line of scrimmage, but not much more than that. Now gone. And he fires one, but incomplete. Well, the numbers have been good in the passing game and certainly a big reason why they have the lead. But now here, third quarter, maybe go to the run game a little more? Yeah, perhaps. I mean, after that incompletion, a little credit to the defense for shutting them down on that play. Maybe you try and run the football a little bit more in this spot. But they have to feel good about how they've been throwing it overall. And this one is no good. He missed it. And this score will stay right where it is. Well, this winds up an empty possession. Everything looked okay. He just never got the ball on target. And knowing him, he'll be disappointed with that effort. They 
go play action here on first down. Going for the deep ball. And is this intercepted? It is. It's intercepted. Picked off by Kayvon Webster. And they're going to set up shop at the 27-yard line. I'm not sure, Brandon, we've seen a sloppier played game this year for a team on offense. Turn it over four times and expect to win? No chance whatsoever. And look, I have no idea what the ratio is about turning over four times and how that correlates to winning or losing. But I'll guarantee you, it's not very good. And just a short gain that time as they're able to get him down. Two yards on the carry there. It'll be second down. This is what happens sometimes when you abandon the running game. It's hard to get back to it because once guys get out of that mentality of firing out and hitting people, hard to get them started again occasionally. To throw on second down is gone. This is complete to Watkins on the slam. Touchdown, L.A. Sammy Watkins, 71 yards. And the Rams add on to their lead. You have fun with this one, partner? I am. I mean, he's been fun to watch under center. We always talk about, you know, getting to the next level, right? When we see people get into the zone, this guy's in the master class right now. What a performance he's putting on, just carving them up. Four touchdown passes, carving them up is right. Seems like everything he throws is going to be a completion and going in the end zone. He's got it, and the lead swells. It's 28-6. Zerline out now to kick this one away. This will be taken in at the one. And a good return as he'll be stopped just shy of the 30-yard line. And Pittsburgh getting set to take the field. And last time, one play interception. So this offense, they should be fresh. <laughs> That's a good way of putting it. And I can't wait to see what they decide to do with play calling because a one-play drive where you throw an interception, a lot of people think the very next time out, run the football, don't give them a chance. Maybe play action? I think maybe you go play action, show your quarterback, get a little confidence in him, and let him fling another one. Defenses always talk about earning the right to rush the passer on third down. And you know what offenses want? Win first down so they can set things up for themselves better. And that wasn't helpful there. Not a big impact on first down. Not the start to the drive they were hoping for. That run doesn't get them much at all. No, not at all. That leaves them with third long, which means you've got to dial up something pretty good. Think your best player with a play that he likes to run best. That one good for 14 yards and a stealer first. I know everyone wants that prototypical wide receiver, you know, the 6'3", 200-plus pound guy, like a Julio Jones and A.J. Green and Des Bryant. Antonio Brown just shatters that, doesn't he? Smaller in stature, but still able to use his quickness, his elusiveness, and his strength to create big plays. Pushing forward for three up to the 48. Not much happening there on first down. I thought there might have been a hole for a split second. Yeah, but it dried up pretty quickly, didn't it? Closed fast. They'll go again with Bell. And some room to work. And he's brought down. It'll be a gain of 17 at a Pittsburgh first. Boy, well, he does it at a high level, doesn't he? Because when I watch him, I think of his vision. Straight ahead, peripheral. Also has that sense of where holes are going to be before they actually open. I think that helps set him apart from many of the other backs in the league. No gain on that run, and while the team is down, there's still time to come back and win the football game. If I'm the offensive coordinator, though, I've got to think about moving at a faster pace and maybe opening things up a little bit and throwing it a little bit more. Good yardage as he rumbles for 24 and a first. This has been a good drive so far, and it's been the running game for the most part that's powered them down there. Another nice burst there, picking up a first down. Now it's first and 10, as you said, in the red zone. A gain of three, second down. Not too many offenses want to turn down long drives, but when you're down what they are... Got his man, it's caught for a Steelers touchdown. Antonio Brown from eight yards out, and the Steelers are able to cut into that deficit. That's the score you felt they had to have here in the third quarter to get back in this game. And you know that there was an emphasis on their side. Hey, we know this, we know where we are, but sometimes... And it's intercepted at the goal line. Read it well, and it's picked. A 
big seam, and he might go all the way. And he will bring this all the way back out to midfield. Boswell on now to kick this one away. This will be fielded at the six. And a nice job there as he gets this one up just shy of the 35-yard line at the 34. And now out on the field, here comes Los Angeles. This is sort of what you would call a put-away drive, isn't it? They score here, especially a touchdown. It's almost out of reach. It certainly feels that way, and I think that they're going to call their plays accordingly because what you really want to do, even though you know the scoreboard is still up there and the game's going to go on, in fact, you can take the spirit away from another team, that their drive and will to come back and win can be taken with another score right here. It's still third quarter, but you just get that feel. Yeah, they're teetering right there on the brink, aren't they? Time to establish the run game here. Gurley. And he's across the 40, three extra yards to the 43. Give him nine on the carry that time, and they're set up with a second and one. First play of the drive. Let's give credit all around. Excellent blocking, but the guy carrying the ball, he was the finisher. A really nice run. And this one's going to go the wrong way. Losing yardage back at the 42. This will be a two-yard loss on the play. And that'll lead here to a third down. Now Gurley. And he will not only not get the yard he needed, he goes the wrong direction. He went backwards five yards there on third down to break up four. They are going for it. Golf. And it is incomplete. So certainly an interesting call there to go for it. And the Steelers, they're going to take over an excellent field position. Pittsburgh's offense now heading back out onto the field. And a great spot to start this drive from here. Throwing now, Roethlisberger on first down. And it pops free. The collision there jarred the ball loose and brings up second down. Let's face it, if you want to get back into the game, these are the kind of throws you got to hit. He's wide open right there got to be able to get it to him, don't you think? And those are the throws that haven't been available to them every time he's dropped a pass. Yeah, that's a big miss. So the incomplete pass brings up second down. From the gun, it's Roethlisberger. And he comes back with one complete. And he'll work it inside the 30 to the 29-yard line. Eight yards on the completion, but now they face third down. And boy, they had high praise for this rookie receiver when we asked the coaches about him, didn't they? They certainly did, and obviously they liked his measurables. Otherwise, they wouldn't have brought him on to the team. Height, weight, speed, all of that. But how about what they really said? Competitiveness. That's what they really liked about him. The way he goes after the football, competes for it, and decides when it's in the air, it's his and only his. Steps away to his left. Powerful running. He loses five full yards to bring up fourth. They're already slim. Hopes are going to ride on this one. They'll go on fourth down. Got to try it here. He's back to throw. Looking left side. It's complete. He's got it. And now a fumble. The ball's out. And now the Rams have got it. Go the other way. Pass the 20. 10. And he will score. Touchdown, L.A. 